a few hundred years' time, um, I have no doubt that you could do it. I mean, you... you the usual way. Yeah. You, I mean, you, you wouldn't need to, to manipulate genes. You could probably do it even faster if you, if you manipulated genes. But if you simply um, crossbred male champion high jumpers with female champion high jumpers for a few generations, you'd probably do it. Not a bad idea. <laughs> Hi, Professor Dawkins. Um, I was just wondering, in some of the early chapters of your book, in addition to artificial uh, selection, you talk about hybridization. And uh, one of the examples you use is uh, the Labradoodle, where a dog is created by mixing two breeds together to get the best characteristics of both of them. Now, at what stage does a hybrid become let's say, a pedigree or a breed of its own, because if you take the Labrador, the Golden Retriever, they, in their own rights, are you know, just about 100 years old, and the Labradoodle is, what, about 21 years old? And also, um, what star sign are you? <laughs> um, I, I think that what, what happens when you're doing something like, like breeding dogs, or indeed, I mean, this sort of hybridization is done very much now in agriculture, you very often find that the, that the chickens that are used